to another video. I will be sharing my top fragrances for life. These are going to be fragrances that I cannot live without. These are perfumes I'm always going to be rebuying and I can't wait to share them with you. And I can't wait to find out also if we have some of these fragrances in common, but I think I do have a few bonus fragrances as well to share with you. <laughs> so um, let's start this video. I'm gonna go straight into it. So the very first perfume that I don't think I can live without would have to be this one here. This is my Hypnotic Poison and this perfume started my collection. I was a Dior lover and I think oh, this perfume is so beautiful. We have notes of jasmine, vanilla and almond and it's gorgeous. It's just such a beautiful, alluring, romantic, creamy vanilla. I started wearing this fragrance as a teenager and then I sort of went off this perfume only because I would still, like if I wore this now, it made me feel like I was still a teenager. So it had this sort of juvenile, in a sense juvenile, um, sort of quality about it because it's something I used to wear all the time as a teen. And, um, but yeah, I think now I've just gotten over that. <laughs> And it's just something I don't think I could ever live without. Um, it's just beautiful. It's that creamy, rich vanilla with the almond, coconutty note. So that's my hypnotic poison. If you guys watch my videos, you know I cannot live without Chanel. And this is like my favorite, one of my favorites anyway. Chanel number no. five low is your fresh citrus burst of musk, lemons, and bergamot. Some mandarin in the top notes as well. This fragrance has a heart of rose and jasmine and it's soft and beautiful. I find this very elegant. This is appropriate for a daytime scent and I think this is signature scent worthy. So that's my Chanel number no. 5 low. I just love this perfume. I'm actually waiting for Chanel to come out with the Eau de Parfum version. I'm going to be going crazy guys. As soon as that fragrance drops, lands, departs, arrives, drops from the heavens, I am buying it. I'm going to be the first one to buy it because <laughs> I love this scent. So that's my Chanel number no. 5 low. Another fragrance that I have in my list that I cannot live without is a summer scent and this is my bronze goddess. I always reach for this every vacation, every summer. This has this coconutty sort of almost aquatic but still sweet and elegant at the same time. It's just everything. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. The notes in here are so complex, so I'm gonna read them out for you. We have coconut milk, sandalwood, vanilla, there's amber, orange, mandarin. We also have tiare flower, jasmine, magnolia. Guys, it's everything. It smells like a holiday. It smells like sunscreen, coconutty rich. This is beautiful. And this is my bronze goddess Eau Fresh, I believe. Yeah, Eau Fresh. So it's that one there. And I think I have, do I have? Oh, I have 100 mil here. Yeah, so that's that one. I do love this one. It's one of my favorites every summer. Okay, so the next perfume I have is a fragrance I love by Maison Francis, Kate Dijon. This is my Gentle Fluidity, and you can see there's a dent in there. I love this. This is your sweet, amber-rich perfume with some vanilla and woody notes. I have to say, when I first discovered Maison Francis, Kate Dijon, this was my first love and my first purchase. I I think I tried Baccarat Rouge first, but this is the one I really preferred. Um, it's very sweet, you've got nutmeg, some spice, some ambery notes, it's really delicate, so feminine and pretty. So that's my Gentle Fluidity Gold. So you guys also know I love Tom Ford, so I have to share this one with you. This is Noir de Noir. Guys, this is a scent I cannot live without in my collection. I reach for this every evening if I'm dining somewhere really nice or um, going to a lounge and I really want my perfume to project so others can share my beautiful fragrance <laughs> then I wear this one. Noir de Noir has rose and oud, there's some saffron in here. I really love how the patchouli blends well with the rose in here so this is one of my favourite evening scents, Noir de Noir. So the next fragrance I have, which is a fragrance for life, is The Favourite by Penhaligans. Guys, look at the bottle. It's just so beautiful and dainty, very girly, very feminine, and the perfume is just that. It's your rich, sweet musk with sandalwood, creamy, powdery on the skin. It's very elegant. Um, it's just so beautiful. And 
I can't imagine not living with without this perfume. You've got the notes of violet in here, which adds this powdery, sort of light, fluffy texture. And this fragrance actually looks like the bottle, the beautiful labeling. I just love how they, I don't know, it's very artistic. I just love everything about Penhaligans. I find the favorite to be extremely feminine and it's quite smooth. It's a very beautiful feminine fragrance. So that's the favorite. The next perfume I have, most definitely a perfume for life. This is something I need every evening. It's Oud Satin Mood. It's the blend of the two types of roses. One is very syrupy, the other one is rich and sweet, pungent, powerful roses. But then it sits on a bed of oud and then in the opening you receive violet, powdery, delicate violet. So in the top notes you have violet and in the base you have strong oud. And I think the two together creates a perfect balance with the rose. That's what I love about oud satin nude. Oh my gosh, guys, it smells like a sugared bomb with <laughs> violet and oud. Very exquisite, this one. Regal, sophisticated, very fancy. This is your opulent floral. Oud Satin Mood guys, make sure you try this one. I love, love, love. The next fragrance I have is new to my collection and this is my Roja. This is Reckless and my goodness me guys, this is one of my favorite fragrances. And Roja, thank you so much for this beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I love this. This is your orange blossom. It is opulent, it is fancy, it is everything guys. This sits on a bed of spice. Oh, wow, I just got a sniff of that and I just cannot believe this is definitely a fragrance for life. Look at the beautiful bottle. It's so vibrant and elegant. It just looks regal, that color. I love it. Anyway, <laughs> the notes we have in Reckless, we have jasmine, lemon, rose. We have artemisia, oak moss, musk, orris root, and tonka. This is very complex, guys. I receive an orange blossom note. It's floral and very, very beautiful. That's my Reckless by Roja Dove. Wow. The next perfume is Delina Exclusive. Guys, there's no way I could not have Delina Exclusive in my collection. This is definitely a rebuy. This is elegant. This is sophisticated. It is a little bit playful. It's sweet, but then it's a little bit like woody as well. It's just everything. You have some oud notes in here. You're very fine oud in the base, which you don't really detect. I received lychee, rose, creamy vanilla. It's powdery and elegant. Wow, it's so special, so unique. I haven't smelt anything like this, but Delina, well, Delina exclusive, this reminds me of my past. Every time I smell it, I've smelt this same blend somewhere before, but I couldn't tell you where or how. So this is very special. I love this fragrance. And the longevity on this is outstanding. My next fragrance for life would have to be another Penhaligon's fragrance and it's by the Portraits Collection. And this is my Clandestine Clara. Guys, just take a moment. I always do this to you, don't I? <laughs> but I really love the bottle. It's just so beautiful. It just suits the room. I don't know. It just looks so English and classy. I love the heads and the bottle shape. The curves on the bottles are beautiful. Um, yeah, I just love it. My little peacock. <laughs> Let's talk about the fragrance. So this is my perfume for life because this is a blend of rum, vanilla, and some spices. Guys, it's decadent. So decadent. You get that true woody rich spice, a little bit sweet, sophisticated. This is your evening scent. My goodness, this is beautiful and it radiates quite nicely around you. You have this really nice scent bubble and it just smells expensive. It really does, it smells amazing. Clandestine Clara Penhaligans. Lastly but not least, I have a Maison Christian Dior perfume. This is my Holy Peony and oh, I just love the juice of this. It's such a pretty pink, it's the perfect pink and it matches my peonies in the back there. <laughs> this is gorgeous, rose. Peony, oh gosh guys, it's gorgeous. We have some red fruits in the heart and some apricot. We have musk in here. There's some green notes also, and it sits on a base of woody notes. I get the apricot and the red berries, small juicy berries, maybe perhaps some raspberry or red currant, I think. I think more red currant in this one, but the rose and peony, this is sickly sweet, syrupy sweet. I get notes of like sugar 
and I think it's almost like spun sugar you know something you would receive at the fair almost like candy floss really beautiful guys it's playful it's a daytime scent really wonderful that's my holy peony darlings these are the fragrances i cannot live without <laughs> i really can't these are just so stunning so i'm going to quickly show you the fragrances that give me the best for longevity i can't hold them all up at once but in terms of longevity it's these here oud satin mood more than eight hours standard it's amazing delina wins guys nothing beats Delina, if you guys have a fragrance that can last longer and perform better than this, please let me know in the comment section. Um, just give me a like as well, subscribe to my channel if you can find something because you are a star if you know of a fragrance that lasts longer than this. This I get about, I would say about 10 hours, very close to, yeah, about nine to 10 hours, this one, amazing. And it radiates like nothing clandestine clara i get good wear out of this as well i'm getting about seven hours wear this is gorgeous and then also my gentle fluidity i can smell it throughout the whole day so this would radiate for about maybe six hours and after six hours it's a skin scent for the whole day or the rest of the day so that's gentle fluidity gold and then another one i've left the best till last my reckless <laughs> this is gorgeous reckless will sit on my skin for about eight to nine hours guys so this is still quite new to my collection and i'm playing around with it and so far i'm getting about nine hours this is gorgeous darlings thank you so much for watching today these are my fragrances for life i think i'm going to do another video because i have so many fragrances it was so hard to condense these down i didn't show you 10 i showed you more than 10 but that's even better for you guys. So darlings, I hope you like my picks today and let me know what your favorite perfumes are. I would love to know what are your top three fragrances for life. Let me know so I can check them out and discover something new. So thank you so much for watching. And for those of you who are returning and leaving such beautiful, beautiful comments, I really appreciate you guys. You guys are truly amazing. I really appreciate you all. You guys are just amazing your comments make me smile every day and i really do appreciate that especially during these times it's like wow we need to smile more <laughs> so darlings thank you so much again for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye